Hey guys, it's Arthur from My Sake Journeys where you and I explore sake together and today I have another interesting sake to share with you and I think this actually might be the best sake for beginners to get to know. It's the Kimmon Sekai Taka Junmai Dai Ginjo. That's a mouthful, <laughs> but let's just um, let's break this down. So Kimmon means golden lighter, so it just means that it's award winning. Sekai Taka is the brand. It literally means world eagle. And Junmai Dai Ginjo. It's a pure Junmai Dai Ginjo, very high polishing. So this is a sake from Saitama. And it has a 60% semi buai, 60% polishing ratio. So that puts it just in the realm of a Dai Ginjo. So remember, this is a Jumai. So what Jumai means is that there's only rice water and rice koji or rice starter, or rice fermenter yeast. And um, so it doesn't have any sort of distilled alcohol in it that you have with other kinds of sake. And so you're going to get a lot of the taste of the rice out of this. And it's a daiginjo, which means it's polished at least up to 60%, which means 40% has been taken off. Remember, uh, regular white table rice is 90% is 10% is polished off, and this one has become has 40% taken off, so it's a 60% remaining. So that's what that means. Now, why is it that I recommend this sake? Well, a lot of people will say, you know, Gekkei Kang, you know, that's everywhere in the United States. It's a very easy sake to get to. And so that's normally everybody's first sake. But this one is great because it's kind of in the middle of everything. It's not too sweet. It's not too dry. It's not too sour. It's got a nice balance of everything. If someone were to ask me if this was Amakuchi or Karakuchi, to be honest, I, I couldn't really tell them. I'd say it's just in the middle. And so this is a great kind of base point for people to try to then compare other sakes with. Okay, well now let's let's get this going. Okay. Because it's a Jimmai Daiginjo, you're not gonna have a very strong color in it, which is which is okay. But you can definitely see that it has a purity in it. Okay, now let me take a Sniff, smelling. Wow, so I'm definitely getting an aroma of apples here, uh, particularly green apples. So it smells kind of like it's gonna be, have a little bit of tartness to it, but I know from before when I drank it, it didn't have that tartness in it, but. Oh, yeah, this is actually really good. You know, so this is great. It's a taste that, like I said before, it has the aroma of apples, but when you taste it, it doesn't really have any sort of tartness, any sort of sourness in it. Um, it's kind of sweet, but not in a fruity kind of way, but it also has a nice bite to give it, a nice kind of dryness at the end. It's a very well-balanced sake. So if you have a chance to find it, uh, please check it out. This is a great sake to start with. Links and information about this are in the are in the description below. Let me tell you a little bit about the brewery. So this brewery, Koyama Honke, I think it's called. Koyama Honke is, means it's owned by the Koyama family and they've been brewing sake since 1808. And they own an, a lot of other popular sake brands in Japan that you see in supermarkets. And so these guys are kind of like the big dogs. They are kind of some of the major sake producers in Japan. And so if you ever find something with Koyama, Honke or Koyama on it, it's probably going to be a good sake. They have, they own the Echigo Zakura brand, which is in Niigata, which is also another popular sake. But yeah, I hope that we can find this in the United States or in other countries because it's really, it's really great. If you want to get to know more information about the brewery and where to get, where to get the sake, you can check out the description box below. And yeah, until next time, let's continue enjoying sake together.